Today we're taking a look at this very nice 8.8 inch instrument cluster display for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y with a built-in air vent to minimize the airflow blockage. It comes with all the cool stuff that we have seen in the past, including a slick looking UI, and it has got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, front bumper camera, it has got the side binary spot detection system, and so much more. Let's take a look at this today. First of all, do you remember this unit? This is the 8.8 .8 unit that installed on the steering wheel area. We loved this unit because of really nice graphics. It was minimalist, but they mimic the Tesla UI really well. Have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto front camera. Uh, they added the blind spot detection, autopilot and all that. And this was a hit product. So basically it is this product, but the downside of this was it didn't have any built-in air vent, so there were some airflow blockage. Now, they put the screen, so this is the same screen, like exact same screen, if you look at it. What they did was they put this screen into a new shell. So this is the new shell where this mounts on the air vent now, but it has got a built-in air vent. So all of that air from the back comes through here and then it passes the air through the back and then takes it out from the front. And that's, that's the design where they put the same good screen in a new casing, in a new shell. So given that this is the same screen with exact same feature, I'm not gonna go deep into the features this time around. I'm just going to show you the effect of the airflow and show you just the portion of the installation that includes this being mounted to the dash. I'm gonna link a full detailed video of this screen in the description below. This product was sent to us by Tesla Studio to review in our channel free of charge. We have reviewed a lot of product from them in the past. They've got a large selection of Tesla accessories. So this is the product that we're taking a look at it today. And if we go down, um, this is the 8.8 .8 inch, of course. And if you select Model 3 Y or Model 3 Highland, so your regular Model 3 or Y, you can select that. Uh, this is the V1 with bottom air vent. The V2 is without the air vent. That's the one we reviewed in the past. So with bottom air vent, and you can select either without front camera or with front camera. So if we select all of that, uh, the price becomes 329, but let me show you how you can bring that back to in the 200. Um, if you just hit add to cart, and when you go to cart, there is a place where you can put a coupon code right here. You just type in Shiva Tesla, and it went down to $263 from that earlier price, which is $65 off. And just keep in mind, this is affiliate code, so we do earn a very small commission at no additional cost to you, which greatly helps us bring videos like this in the future, and you save significant amount of money. Thank you so much, let's get it started. So the only thing different with this device versus the other 8.8 .8 was the 8.8 .8 installed in the steering wheel column. This one installed here in the dash and it's a very straightforward process. This is like the F9 that we installed where all of these wires uh, just go through this air vent there and you are just going to install it somewhere here depending on your OCD level where you wanna do it. This is the steering wheel cutout. You just install that after passing those wires and you're gonna install this bracket to mount it from the bottom. So once you pass it, you're gonna see the mounting bracket in the bottom and you're just going to install this plate to uh, mount this and secure it, and that's it. That's super simple. Everything else is exactly the same. I have a detailed step-by-step -step long video in the description below to show you how to do the installation and wiring. Now, uh, this is how this operates. As I said, there is that air vent uh, that the air is passing through. It is hollow in the middle. It's pushing all of that air, and then it is releasing from the bottom here. So that's the only change that they made versus the other screen just installed here and blocked that airflow, now you are going to get all of that air. So it's just supposed to curve the air and come through and pass uh, without any blockage. You're not gonna get any airflow from the bottom vents because that is not hollow, but the one from the back, you're going to get the full air. So let's do the airflow testing. Other than that, everything is exactly the same as the other screen. You see very minimalist design, I really like how this looks, uh, they have this MPH in a large fund, it shows all the critical car information, and this is after that massive update we had, and nothing is broken on this screen, so looks like this is built sturdier, and the battery percentage is exactly the same as what I'm seeing here, so that's one of the big concerns that we had with the last update, so 
this is good to go. And of course, some of the other features that this has is if you swipe towards the left from the edge here, you get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you can control all of that. If you go to the settings here, it allows you to change a few settings there, as well as going to display, car color, you can change a few things, wireless, again, Android Auto, and it has OTA update. I don't trust OTA update on any of the devices, but you know, it has it here. And if we go back, the final thing that this has is as soon as you put your car into drive, at a low speed, the camera automatically turns on and it stays on until you hit 20 miles per hour speed. And for those of you who are screaming on the screen right now, be like, what if we want the camera to turn on even after 20 miles per hour? That automatically turns off the camera, but you can always go to your scroll wheel here and then just swipe up and the camera comes back. So you always have this camera on demand at any time, any speed you want. Again, all of this, including the driving test, all the bugs, everything, I talked about it on this very long video that is linked in the description below. That video covers everything and it's literally the same screen. And this is what we get at one. So there is barely any airflow coming in. You don't see much and we didn't see much with the earlier one as well without the screen. Let's bump this up to five. So with five, we start seeing some airflow. There's a moment definitely because this is what would be going directly to my face. And if you get closer, there's going to be airflow. I'll show you from this angle here as well. I realize that that blocks a little bit, but you get the idea. So this is five. Now let's up this to 10. And as you can see, you get a decent amount of airflow because this does have an air vent and I could feel it on that air vent that the air is going through. So let me show you the angle, different angle to show you what that looks like here. So because there is that airflow uh, vent there, if you look at it, we are at speed 10 on the airflow. You still get a lot of airflow from there because there's that built-in vent and I could feel the air coming through here. So right here from the driver's perspective, you still get that air to your face. Since airflow is one of the big benefit of this, let me show you another view here. This is airflow five. So setting a five and as you can tell, there's still quite a bit of airflow going through directly here to your face. So it's quite a bit. Now let's change that to 10 and I'll show you again. Now this is setting 10 and obviously you're going to see a lot of airflow. Yep. Okay, now you have seen the airflow testing and it's pretty good compared to, you know, not having an air vent like this in the bottom. But do you see a little bit of a problem with having a vent there instead of having it on top? Because this vent is facing down, yes, you still get it. The airflow comes through, it goes through the steering wheel. You still have that because that is no different than the air that's coming from here and going down. But if they already went through all of this effort to create an air vent, why not put this vent on top and on the side? That would be my suggestion for the company, is to figure out the air vent situation where it is coming from the top and the side instead of coming from the bottom. It does a decent job, don't get me wrong. This is really awesome. It's a small screen, doesn't take much real estate, so the airflow blockage is already super minimal, but just changing that to the top, I think would have solved this issue even better. So what do you all think about this product? Your like, your dislikes. Uh, I really like when vendors listen to our feedback and this whole air vent thing has been a big problem since the beginning and they are incorporating new ideas that solve that issue. So I'm all for that. They just need to work a little bit more and figure out uh, the airflow where it does not block anything at all. There's always going to be a little bit of blockage with these screens if they don't do the vents right. So. That is my two cents. I think they're almost there. They just need to figure out how to make this slightly better. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you found today's video helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and come back again soon for another Tesla accessory video.